Walain qutil tum fi sabilillah aw muttu. And if you are slain or killed in the way of Allah, or you die and die the natural death, what's, it, what's the difference? So long as you are in sabilillah, a person who is striving for the cause of Allah, who is continuously working hard for the cause of Allah, whether he is propagating his message or he is going to war. But the struggle, you know, was going on in the Makkah also, in the Makkah period. There was no war. But the, the Sahaba were making jihad for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This jihad was not with sword, that jihad was with Quran. Now if they died the natural deaths, they were fi sabillah. And if they go, went out to some war or some battle and there they were slain or killed, they were fi sabillah. So actually for Muslim it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So that, that is this ayah very important. وَلَئِنْ قُتِلْتُمْ فِي سَبِلِ اللَّهِ اَوْ مُتْتُمْ What's the difference between it? The death has to come either through some sword, sword of an enemy, or through some fever or some, some uh, other disease. So there's no difference for a mu'min. وَلَئِنْ قُتِلْتُمْ فِي سَبِلِ So long as a mu'min is in the way of Allah, he is striving, he is discharging his duties of دَعْوَى إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَعَمْرُ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَالنَّهِيَ الْمُنْكَرِ He is doing his duty. Whether he is slain or he dies, the, the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His mercy, they are much, which they are bound to get. They are sure to get the Baqira because He was a Fisa Allah. Whether He died on the bed or He died in the field, it doesn't make any difference for Him. So long as He was in the way of Allah, He was striving for the cause of Allah, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will definitely give Him the Baqira. He will forgive Him and you know His mercy will cover Him. Khairum mimma yajma'oon or they are much precious than what they are amassing, they are gathering around them, you know, these worldly things, the precious things. This, this death, this mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His forgiveness, that is much more valuable than that. Walain muttum, you know, you must be remembering that Hazrat Khalid ibn Walid radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he fought so many battles, so many battles. But he died on the bed. He was not killed in any, 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 any battle. He died on the bed. So what's the difference? So actually the difference is whether you are striving for the cause of Allah or you are spending all your energies, all your time, all your capabilities to gather these worldly things and you know these possessions, worldly possessions and money and wealth and all those. That is, that makes the whole difference. Again, there's no difference. Whether you are slain or killed or you die, you will be gathered towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, there's no difference. You have to go anyhow to your Lord and you have to face that accountability. For Bima Rahmatim Min Allah, this ayah is very important, very profound regarding, you know, the leadership of an Islamic party. What should be the qualities of the leader? And you know, we have the example before us is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What was the qualities of the leadership of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? And any leader of any Islamic party, if it is really Islamic, should try his best to imitate and follow in the footsteps of, of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because we have read in this very surah the ayah, Tell them, O Muhammad sallam, if you love Allah, if you claim to love Allah, then you have to follow me. Then Allah will love you. So actually the same thing here, that every leader, whether he is a big leader or a small leader, if there is a group of small certain people, there is a leader. And in a very big party, there is the, the overall leader, then you know there are the leaders, local leaders, local chapters have leaders. And so, so on, this goes on. This is in the sort of a branching. But what are the qualities of a good Islamic leader? And it was by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you, O Muhammad sallallahu is very, you are very lenient for your fellows Muslims. There should be leniency, not harshness. Every comrade, or companion should feel that my leader 
محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لفظ می ہی ہولڈ می ان ہائی اسٹیم سو دیٹ از دی فیلنگ دیٹ دی لیڈر شوڈ گیو ٹو ایچ ون آف دی دی فالوورز اور دی کمپینینس فبما رحمت من اللہ لنت له اٹس ایکچولی آؤٹ آف دی مرسی آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہی ہیز یو نو فیشن یور پرسنالٹی ان دیٹ وے ہی ہیز گیون یو دیٹ ایٹیچیوڈ آف آف انر ایٹیچیوڈ that you are very lenient with your companions with your comrades at arm you are very you are lenient walau kunta fadwan ghaliz al qalb had you been rude and harsh hearted lan fadlu min hawlik they would have dispersed from around you because actually what keeps people together is the bond of love if you were had you been rude fadwan ghaliz al qalb harsh of head harsh of heart harsh hearted or hard hearted they would have dispersed from around you far for anhum now you must do three things far for anhum keep them for keep, keep forgiving them mistakes will be committed by your companions it's, it's human to err there will be errors there will be mistakes so you keep on forgiving them not only that you should keep on forgiving them you should keep on asking from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his forgiveness for them he should also forgive number three and you include them in your consultations that increases these the, the confidence mutual confidence our leader whenever he has to decide something he, he consults us he asks us our opinion He respects our opinion. So actually these three things, every leader, every Muslim leader should try to confirm as much as he can to follow the, in the first steps of the Prophet ﷺ. And these are the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet himself. So what to say of anybody else? When these commandments are given to Muhammad ﷺ, who was under the direct guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then every other leader you know is not Nabi. He is not under the direct, you know, continuous guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala coming. So he should be, be more careful in these aspects. فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيزًا قَلْبِ لَنْ فَضُّوا بِرْحَوْلِكْ فَعْفُ عَنْهُمْ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ وَشَعْبِرْهُمْ فِي الْعَمْرِ فَإِذَا عَزَمْتَ فَتَوَكَّلَ اللَّهِ And when you have made a decision, this is azamta, the decision lies with the leader. It will never be taken by counting the votes. There are 100 people, so if the 51 have this opinion, this is decided. No. This is Western democracy. This is not Islamic consultation. This is not the Islamic mushabra. Not so. Not at all. Because here it is not faiza azam tum. No. It's not the plural. Faiza azam ta. When you have taken a decision of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa after consultation, then the decision rests with the leader. It rested with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the leader at that time. He was the you know, commander of the army at Badr and Ohod. So he had many positions. He was Nabi, Prophet. He was Messenger, Rasul. Then he was the head of the state. If we say that Medina was a city state, who was the head of the state? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the chief of the army. Who was the commander of the army? So actually, he, who was the Imam of the Masjid al-Nabawi? So he was the Imam also. So he had so many positions. So in every position he has some rights, some duties, some obligations. So here actually it's very important for Azamta. You do make consultations so that there is a mutual confidence is being built, you know, between you and your, your followers and companions. But then the decision will remain with you. Faiza Azamta Allah. And then have confidence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trust. In Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in Allah yuhibbul mutawakkilin, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who have, who put their trust in Him, exclusively in Him. That is actually something very necessary for a moment to do.